Please excuse me if I stop crying. Uh, thank you very for such beautiful words. Uh, your love and support for Ravana is something I hold very, very dearly. Um, uh, taking this award from you, receiving this award from you, is a great honor. I always get it. Thank you very much. Uh, I wrote a big uh, uh, thank you letter uh, for the podium, assuming that it will cover my shivering legs. But because it doesn't, I think you can skip that part. And I can uh, go to thanking the, the jury, uh, my dear members of uh, members of uh, New York Film Critics Circle by naming me uh, the best director uh, you not you just not honored my whole cast and crew uh, you made a lot of people take notice of a small uh, film field in India, south of India, the new film field. Many people doesn't know that such a film field exists, but because of this, now I am assuming, assuming many people will look at it and that will give us a, a global recognition. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not very really uncommon for us to say our film units are like our family. Uh, but in my case, it is slightly different. Most of my film crew, uh, most of my HODs uh, 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 of my films, of my films are actually my family. <laughs> my father is the story writer for most of my films. My elder brother is the music director, music composer for most of all my films. My wife is a costume designer for my films. My sister-in-law is the line producer. My son is the producer and line producer. My nephew is a, is a lead vocal artist. My another brother is a, uh, helps me with writing. Yeah, you can call it a family business. But it is their uh, a love for me, not just love. It is their intention to place me at the top of the game, which helped me achieve whatever successes I had. I am deeply grateful to my family. Uh, the rest of the crew is also like a family too. I really changed my uh, 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 main uh, DOP or the production designer or the video effects, uh, video effects uh, supervisor. They worked with me for, for many years, uh, for many films. Uh, uh, I, I take this opportunity to thank all of them and uh, of course my actors did an incredible job. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank my, uh, my lead actors, my, my team, Nidhi Ramaro and my Ram, Ram Sharan. <laughs> to bring uh, life into their characters and uh, of course how can anyone forget uh, the Nati Nati song? That is exactly what I want to give to my audiences. That look of pure joy when they watch my films. Uh, my heroes, I like them to be uh, larger than life, almost superhuman, but their superhuman abilities comes from a strong emotional, uh, a strong human emotion, which drives them to do those particular feats. I essentially make films for Indians uh, across, or uh, Indians across the world. But when I started seeing the, key, the same kind of reception yeah, in India, I don't know how many of uh, of uh, you know how we Indians watch films. It is just incredible. Uh, on the first day of the film, you won't see the picture, you won't hear the sound, 
because there was so much of concrete that is thrown into the uh, into the air, and the people scream so loudly with joy. Uh, you won't hear any sound. Uh, don't ask me why we still see the films. We do. But with Arara, I saw the same kind of reception in the West, uh, whether it is in uh, New York, whether it's in LA, whether it's in uh, uh, Chicago. When I went, initially I thought all of them were uh, Indians, or uh, most of them were Indians, but I went, personally went there and saw them. 90% uh, of, of them were Americans, and they were reacting the same way the Indians did. So, the, so that is, I think, uh, one of the biggest achievements that Arara did. The pure joy of watching a film uh, in theater. For me, uh, a cinema is like a temple. Even today, I remember the excitement I had as a kid when I entered the film hall, waited for the lights to go down and waited for the story to play on the screen. Uh, got immersed into that world. The excitement I felt that day, I still remember today. <clears throat> Not just remember, every time I imagine a sequence or, or a scene of whatever when I write a story, I imagine it on the screen, in the cinema hall, around with the audience. That's how I can see my images. Uh, I want to uh, tell one example. And this was not as a kid, uh, as a young adult, I was watching the film Terminator 2. Uh, um, in India, we have intervals. Uh, interval is, uh, even if it's an English film, even if you guys don't give an interval, the projection, the projection operator will find an appropriate time and you can just uh, stop the film and put an interval car. <laughs> uh, the placement that he chose for uh, uh, Terminator 2 was when uh, uh, T-1000 uh, stops and his uh, 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 cut off steel claw legs and joints his leg. You all know that comes after a lengthy, uh, fantastic action set piece. Uh, so the projector stopped the film and he played the uh, uh, it was car, the lights were on, and I remember the looks on the faces of the audience. It is pure joy of awe. Because you can, you can look at their faces and say what they were thinking, right? It is just like, what in the hell we just witnessed? <laughs>